Hi, uh, thanks a lot, Lawrence, uh, for doing this interview for, uh, for my blog here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would like to ask you a few questions. Can you tell us a, a little bit about the first uh, business deal that you did? And now, looking back uh, years later, the more wiser version of yourself, what kind of advice would you give yourself then? Well, in a business deal, I think the first thing you have to look at is, does the product make sense? Is somebody going to buy that? If, then, if you have doubts about that, don't get involved in the deal. Mm -hmm. And the other question is, can it be sourced or manufactured at a price that allows you to make a profit and, and, and results in a consumer buying something at a good price? Mm -hmm. and, now, uh, and the second question is about reject, rejection. Like, how would you d deal with rejection? Uh, in, what's your view on rejection? You mean if I was rejected? Yeah, yeah, right. Well, that, that would maybe give, uh, the, give the entrepreneur some sense of how should they handle The fact of the matter is if you're being rejected, mm -hmm. it, you may consider it unfair, and a lot of people who, who pitch a deal think their idea is obviously the best. They've lived with it for some time. They live with the development, and it's often a stunning blow. But I, I would say the answer to the, what somebody should do about that is to think carefully on why they were rejected and try to build on that and do one of two things. Either say, I learned something, I will change my pitch, I will change my ideas, or I won't get rejected in the future. But the bravest thing anybody can do, and it's very difficult to say, I've been rejected, I should look at this product or idea dispassionately and know when to say, it's enough, I'll walk away from it. A lot of people can never walk away from their dream and they just keep pouring money and time into it and they keep failing. Yeah. You should avoid that. Great advice. And third question is about luck. Sometimes third parties just think successful entrepreneurs got it because they're lucky. What's your view on it? Do you know what? Everybody says, and I, even I say, there's a certain lucky element. But you really got to make your own luck. You've got to be sensible and say, it's a product that the world needs. It's a product that I can find. It's something that not only I'm enthusiastic about, but people I research it on are enthusiastic. And yes, there's always a bit of luck. There's always an aspect of timing. Uh, there's always people who launch a new product on a disastrous news day. Uh, I remember some people, uh, I can't remember the product now, but they had a major launch designed for September the 11th, 2001. Mm. That was really bad luck from yeah, a commercial point time. of view. And so you don't always have control over it. Mm -hmm. uh, the fourth one is about brutal advice. What's your view on giving brutal advice, not attacking the person, but just brutal, straight, honest advice? You have to do that. I do that every day at work. Mm -hmm. People come with creative thoughts and creative ideas. A lot have merit. A lot can be built on. But sometimes you've got to say to somebody, it's not going to work. Right. Walk away from it. Yeah. The last question is the off the wall, more uh, cheerful, or whatever question. Uh, if you were a tree, what kind of tree would you want to be? Hmm, it's a good question. Uh, I would probably want a tree, maybe like a silver birch, something that looks attractive oh, and is right. flexible, that moves around in uh -huh. the wind, mm -hmm. uh, takes the weather conditions and floats around. I don't think I'd like to be a palm tree that keeps bending and bending and then just uh -huh. breaks. Uh, and an oak tree is too rigid in its thinking. Uh, All right, probably great. a birch tree. Right. Thanks a lot, Lawrence. Thanks for your, your, your being in the.